Hey everyone, I'm Big John and welcome to another episode of the Diz Ability Show. Now, this week I want to talk to you about rainy day tips. Now, when you go to Disney on days like in the spring or the summer, there will be some rainy days. And frankly, between you and me, I, I'll take rain over the uh, giant snowstorm that we are having up here right now. <laughs> but that's just me. Uh, so anyway, when, hey, there, there are some things to do when you are preparing for when it's raining. Like, make sure that your backpack has rain jackets and some ponchos, or in my mother's case, at least 70 ponchos. Uh... And when it gets rainy and stormy, you duck into somewhere that's indoors. Like, most of the Epcot attractions are indoors, so you don't have to worry about that. And, of course, when it, it gets stormy, most of the outdoor attractions will not be operating. So, always have a game plan for when it's raining. And, and if the rain affects your game plan... Modify it so, so no matter what happens, you are still having a good time. So always be prepared for when the sun might need a break and 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 Mother Nature might want to water the earth. <laughs> so anyway, that's my tip. As always, if you have any questions on how to do Disney for people with disabilities, let me know in the comments and I'll make sure it gets to a future episode. And now it's time for this week's Top 5. Now, let's be honest here. I love the Disney attractions. The Disney attractions are some of the best rides in the world. However, some of them are a little overrated. And they get more hype and more long lines than they probably need. So this week, we are going to cover my top five overrated rides. Number five, Mission Space. Now, when this ride first opened back in 03, there was a lot of hype for it. Everyone, because it was intense, but it got a little too intense. So Disney offered two versions of the ride, the original Mars ride and, of course, the uh, green Mars ride that I usually do. And it doesn't get a lot of attention than as it, the other Epcot attractions. Number four, the Tower of Terror. Now, the, it's the oldest, no, I, I won't say that. It's one of the oldest rides at Hollywood Studios. And even though there are more newer rides at the park, this one seems to, to get longer lines than even Rise of the Resistance. Maybe it's because it is a classic, but I think that it, it, it shouldn't be a three-hour wait. It, it. Number three, speaking of three-hour waits, Slinky Dog Dash. Now, in the mornings, people wait I, I've seen, the longest I've ever seen the line for Slinky Dog Dash is stretched out all the way past Walt Disney Presents. And it gets crazy. It really does. I mean, it, it's like a minute and a half. And yet people wait three hours for it. it it's just crazy. But hey, one of the most popular coasters. Number two... Peter Pan's flight. Same kind of situation. People wait like their entire Magic Kingdom day to ride this. And it's only like three minutes. 
or like two minutes. I don't know if you've seen my, my videos of Peter Pan's flight. I film it all the time. But that's why we get a disability pass for it. Because it gets crazy. And my number one overrated ride, the Seven Dwarves Mine Train. Now, it, it's the same kind of thing. When, when, when the early morning guests arrive at Magic Kingdom, they immediately go for Mine Train. And, and when that happens, the ride already has a 75-minute wait. You see, this is why we start... This is why I start with Speedway, Dumbo, and Barnstormer, and then get a pass for, get a disability pass for Mine Train later. Because, again, same kind of thing with the other. You wait, like, three hours for, like, a minute and a half ride. But, hey, but I'm not giving you, you the wrong impression. I, I love all these rides. I, I love them with all my heart. But still, three hours? That's a little crazy. Even for Disney. But that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments what your favorite overrated ride it is. And now, it is time for the first round of March Madness. Now, you you can place your votes in the comments. And and if you're a member of my of the Disney Vlog Squad on Facebook, you can vote there too. So here are the round one matchups. Round one, we just talked about this. The Seven Dwarves Mine Train versus Dinosaur. Now, like I said, Seven Dwarves Mine Train. So it is a dark ride slash roller coaster with swinging buckets. And then you got Dinosaur, perhaps the most intense dark ride Disney has ever created. So you you're either so in this case you're either in a mine looking for gems or in the past looking for an iguanodon. All right, our, the next matchup Star Wars Rise of the Resistance versus Spaceship Earth. All right, on one side you got yet another intense dark ride where you are trying to escape from a first order star destroyer. And on the other side, you are in the Epcot icon on learning about the history of, of communications with narrated by Dame Judi Dench. So you either want to thank the Resistance for rescuing you or you want to thank the Phoenicians. The next matchup, Peter Pan's Flight versus Expedition Everest. Okay, on one hand, you got a one of the most classic rides at the Magic Kingdom. And on the other side, you've got exp you got uh, one of Joe Rody's most famous creations. So you're either riding on a fl flying pirate ship or riding on an old T train being chased by a yeti. Next matchup, the this matchup is what I like to call a coaster clash. It's Slinky Dog Dash versus Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. So you've got you're either running around on Slinky Dog, go going on from hill to hill. Or you're on Epcot's very first roller coaster, trying to to save all of humanity from being erased by, as Drax says, an extremely large man. But of course, in my opinion, it's a one and done. If you've seen my videos, next matchup, we've got Pirates of the Caribbean versus Kilimanjaro Safaris. Now, on this one. You, would you rather go back into the past when, when pirates plagued the seas? Or would you rather 
or ride in a safari vehicle for 30 minutes seeing in, in, as many African animals as you could possibly imagine or more than you could possibly imagine, I, sh I could say. And in a ride that is bigger than the Magic Kingdom itself. The next matchup, Tower of Terror versus Soarin' Around the World. So in this one, would you rather be on a on a haunted elevator that keeps going up and down and sometimes you go straight up, it randomizes? Or would you rather sit in a hang glider and glide your way through some of the world's most amazing icons and of course, the CGI Taj Mahal? The next matchup, Haunted Mansion versus Flight of Passage. Now, for this one, would you rather experience 999 Happy Haunts or fly through Pandora on a Banshee? And the final matchup in round one, a Pixar Pound Up, I should say, because it's Toy Story Mania versus Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. So, on one side, you've got an interactive game experience where you can, with many Toy Story themed games, of course, I practice, I have the Wii game at home. And on the other side, you've got a, a ride that came straight out of Disneyland Paris where you, you run like crazy through Gusto's restaurant. So... As I said, you can vote in the comments, and, and if you're a member of my Disney Vlog Squad group on Facebook, you can vote there as well. I will say, if there is a... T I will check the totals on Thursday, and if there is a tie, I am the tiebreaker. So anyway, that's our show. As always, if you have any questions on how to do Disney for people with disabilities, let me know in the comments. I'll make sure it gets to a future episode for this week, shout outs. Make sure you guys check out Pete Carney over at Adventures by Carney. He does great live streams. Make sure you check him out. Also, make sure you guys check out Chris over at Ear to Ear Magic. He also does amazing live streams from the parks each and every week. Make sure you check him out. Also, make sure you guys check out Nate, a.k.a. Paging Mr. Morrow. He just teased in his last vlog that he is going to uh, California. So, Dollars to Donut uh, says that he will be at Disneyland again. Because he is a magic key holder there. Also, make sure you guys check out Live in the Magic. They were a Give Kids the World family, and now they live in Florida. They do amazing live streams from the from the parks each and every week. Make sure you check them out. For the latest Disney news and gossip, make sure you guys check out WW Magazine. If you haven't subscribed here yet to the Big John Network, what in the Walt Disney World are you waiting for? And ding the bell for notifications so you never miss a second of the fun. And until next time, may the mouse be with you.